General Maha's killing has had Lesotho on a knife's edge, with many people angry and deeply saddened by his death. From a young boy in these rural parts, he went on to become a lawyer and rose to power in top positions, such as becoming a military attaché in the African Union and working on the peace process in South Sudan. As head of the Lesotho Defence Force, he survived a shooting on the 30th of August during an attempted military coup. But on the 25th of June, he was shot dead at this site, between his farm and his house in the city of Maseru. His family believes he had been ambushed and executed. The government claims he was killed accidentally while resisting arrest for mutiny. The new commander of the Lesotho Defence Force said this week that his predecessor should have been accorded a full military funeral because he had lived his life as a soldier, died as a soldier and should have been buried as one. But there was no military pomp and ceremony at this funeral. The family had written a letter to the government requesting that neither they nor members of the Defence Force attend the funeral. They opted for a sombre, traditional church service in his village, which was attended by the Queen of Lesotho. Family members and other speakers at the funeral expressed their shock, sadness and anger. Well, I feel a bit devastated, but at the same time I think it's time to celebrate a great life. Uh, this particular general that we are sending off today is a great man um, who, was, who was a visionary, a revolutionary. I feel very sad about the loss of the general because he was one of the best leaders in our country. So this loss is indeed a great loss for us as a Sotho nation. And although the situation in the country is calm at the moment, there's still plenty of anger and tension on the ground. Renard Al Calm, CCTV, in the village of Mokema, Lesotho.